Hey everybody, it's Mackenzie Chriswell here. Welcome back to another new video. Today, I'm going to go back to the very beginning and just do a video about setting up a Plex server initially. Uh, so let's go ahead and just do it. Uh, there's two things you'll need. One is a uh, the Plex installer, uh, which you can acquire by following the link in the description, which will take you to this page here. Click download, select your platform, and uh, you know, download. Uh, and the other thing you'll need is just uh, a collection of movies or TV shows or music or whatever it may be that you want to store through Plex. I've just grabbed a really reduced version of my library, so I've got a couple of movies here. Uh, you know, some documentaries, uh, some older movies, some newer movies, uh, and then like, and then I also grabbed like a Ricky Gervais special to see if Plex can handle that, and then I just grabbed a, a couple of seasons of Fargo. Uh, first thing you want to do is just go ahead and open up the installer, hit run, uh, and then click install. And you'll get the little administrator privilege message if you're on PC. Uh, also, uh, one thing you'll notice if you watched any of the other Plex videos I made, which by the way should be appearing in the cards, uh, the processes for setting up, or, or I was explaining how to back up Plex servers vary quite a bit from PC to Mac and, and moving between the two. There's a, a fair amount of difference, but as far as setting up the server goes uh, on with Plex, uh, whether you're doing it on PC or Mac, or I haven't done it on a Linux or like a free NAS system, but I assume it's all basically identical. It certainly is for PC and Mac, so just follow the instructions regardless of your platform. Uh, once this is done installing, go ahead and hit launch, and Plex should go ahead and open up your browser with just like the uh, the like home interface. Uh, if it doesn't though, you sh down here in your taskbar you should have just Plex running in the background, so you can just right click and hit uh, open Plex. Uh, and then what you want to go ahead and do is sign up for a new Plex account. Uh, the reason you want to do this is so that you can sign in uh, on all the other devices you'll be using Plex on on your network, whether you watch on a phone or on like an Apple TV or an Nvidia Shield or something like that, um, a tablet, but whatever you may need to watch on, the easiest way to do that is to just sign in with this account you're creating here. It will give you a message about Plex Pass, which is uh, an option you can pay, you know, five bucks for, forty bucks for, or one hundred and fifty dollars uh, one time for. Uh, I actually would not recommend buying a Plex Pass unless you just want to support Plex, in which case feel free to go ahead and do that. Uh, but unless you have a whole lot of devices you watch on, uh, most of the features that are unlocked by buying a Plex Pass uh, can also be done just by buying uh, access to the mobile app. Um, so in my case, instead of paying $5 every month, I pay $5 one time for an iPhone app. Five dollars one time for an Android app, and I can do pretty much all of this. Uh, so make a uh, decision on that, uh, and then just go ahead and follow the initial setup settings, and you should be to a screen like this. So to go ahead and get all of our stuff in here, what we'll do is we'll just click over here to add a library. I'll add my movies first, call it films. I'll add a folder to it, and I let's see, I put mine on the desktop. So grab the film folder, add that, uh, and if you go ahead and hop over to the advanced settings, there's just a few things to take a look at. Uh, for example, uh, one thing you can do is um, is change where Plex automatically imports data from. Uh, you can obviously change your metadata once the files are actually uploaded into Plex, uh, but one thing you can do is change where it's getting, for example, a cast list from you know, uh, to IMDb. You can change the ratings to IMDb. I like to change all of this to IMDb. A couple of other things you can do, let's see, include adult content, yes please. Uh, yeah, okay. And then we'll just go ahead and click Add Library. And uh, it will take Plex a few minutes, but it should find most of your films. And they might have some weird quirks, but uh, the best thing to do is just to sit here for a few minutes and let Plex try to figure itself out uh, and then once it's done that 
correct any errors that it has made. So I'm just going to let this sit here for a second and see what happens. Uh, one quick thing that I forgot to mention, when you see this little search bar on a movie, that means it's searching for information. And whenever you see like the tag here, uh, this means that Plex is going ahead and downloading the metadata to then add. Uh, and yeah. So, okay, so it looks like it's found metadata for all of my stuff now, and it's just going ahead and updating it. So, just a second here. Okay, and now we can see that with just these films that I've added, there's, what, seven of them? Eight of them. Uh, Plex has done a pretty good job of finding information. If we go ahead and click into one, uh, for example, 2001 here, you can see we've got all kinds of cool stuff about it. A description directors, writers, uh, the cast, we've got a rating, a studio down here that made it, resolution and the audio type, all sorts of stuff, genres, uh, as marked as unwatched by default, looks great. Uh, and this and this is uh, true for all the films that Plex does find metadata for. Uh, in, in my case, it's going to IMDb and just downloading what's there and adding it onto my Plex library. Uh, one movie that it did mess up uh, it looks like is Mad Max Fury Road, which it downloaded a weird cover for. Uh, that's actually no problem. Uh, everything else does appear to be right. Uh, the director, cast, writers, the description, everything is good to go. Studio, rating, uh, just the cover is weird and like has some artifact. I don't know what the heck happened there. Uh, but the easy way to go ahead and just edit any metadata that Plex does get wrong is just come here to this pen click on it and then you will get the option to go ahead and edit individual metadata and if we just come over here to poster uh, Plex will actually load a number of uh, posters that it finds based on its own databases uh, for you to pick from or you can even uh, upload your own uh, image from a URL uh, or just an image that you have on your computer uh, so we'll just pick a cover we like uh, there's also this background image here that you can change which I typically like to change to a screenshot from the actual film itself. Hit save changes. And if it's a poster, it may take a second, but it did not in this case. Uh, so now we have Mad Max Fury Road, uh, all perfect and set up. Uh, let's see here. So it looks like all of our movies are good to go. Yeah, everything looks good. Uh, so the last thing we'll do is come back to home here just by hitting this home button. And uh, we'll go ahead and add one more library for our uh, TV shows. Uh, go ahead and add the, let's see, the TV shows version. All right. And if we go ahead and come over to advanced settings, we again get the option to change a few things. In this case, we just have one agent that uh, Plex is able to use to find uh, information about TV shows, uh, which I would leave at the TV database. Uh, that seems to work pretty well. Uh, and of course you can always update any information Plex gets wrong anyway. So I'll just go ahead and click Add Library. And I think I just have the one TV show in here, so this should be really, really quick. Uh, okay, looks good. Uh, changing TV show information if Plex gets it wrong is basically the exact same process. You come in here, change anything that's screwed up, find a different poster if you prefer a different one. Let's see if there's a cooler looking one. I don't know, maybe that one. Uh, so we can go ahead and hit save. Uh, the only notable difference between the way that uh, editing TV shows and editing uh, movies goes is uh, there are, of course, individual seasons inside of TV shows. So if you click into a season, you can edit information specific to that season. So, for example, if I pick a different cover for season one of Fargo, let's see, it should go ahead and update... While it's downloading and I can do the same kind of thing here with the second season so there is just another layer of information that you can edit in the event that Plex gets it wrong of course if you click into a season you can also even edit individual episodes uh, change the description of the title whatever it may be uh, but it really is just that easy to go ahead and set up a Plex library. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to check out any of the other videos on my channel or drop a like if you just want to be awesome. Uh, you can also check out my website, maxc.co. Uh, there will be a card, should be a card, on the screen somewhere. I don't know. Uh, I'll see you next time, guys.